oh, you didn't hear me, is um, Barbara in? Barbara Vance, got it. Okay. Yeah, I have to start my video or maybe... Yeah, they're trying to let you in. I don't see the controls. Stay in the meeting, got it, okay. Okay, let me stop the, uh, okay, so the video's on. Let me just get the link. Oh, we hear that twice. Nellie, what's, what's the limit? 500. Oh, great. Wow. So we can allow everybody to go. Yeah, you can relax. That's why I, I thought, you know, I-, I Wonderful. Could, Thank you so I much. I mean, no, it just does, didn't make sense to, um, you know, to limit people. I, I don't know. It just bothered me. I think everybody deserves to be here. Oh, thank you. Lovely, lovely. Thank I hate you, selections. I hate, mm -hmm. so, I hate, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you yeah. is and you know, and okay. So mm -hmm. let's, um, so everybody's in. Okay, the numbers are coming. Yes, we're very wow. excited. Yes, yeah, isn't it wow. exciting? Yeah. Yeah, you want to see what I look like in my excitement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do I always say? This is the highlight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it always yes. is, no matter, you know, I think, well, this year it's not going to be, you know, the, but it always <laughs> is. <laughs> right. It's Christine? always an adrenaline rush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Get my water here. All right. I don't know what time it is. But um, it is 902. Oh, it's, yeah. it's 302. 302. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, two. It's, it's, Something. It's two, two. it's two past the hour. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait a little bit since there might be a problem at the door, people getting in, squeezing in. Hello, everyone. Lots of hellos in the chat. Hello. Great. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hello. The chat is. Rushing. Running, running, running yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me try to get some more people as co-hosts. I don't know how many we can have, but presumably we can have as many as we want. Um, so the waiting room, let me, did we get rid of the waiting room? No, I didn't. Let me get rid of the uh, waiting room. We don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, right? People can come in. Uh, and let's see. Everything is set. Okay. Let's see. Now, moderators. I see we, we don't have that many um, with rights. Uh, tell me who... Uh, needs moderator rights, co-mods. Yeah, maybe the, maybe they yeah. should write it in the chat box. Wait or... a minute, Mariana, Mariana. No, I'm, I'm going through, oh, keeps disappearing. Every time you click mm -hmm. on somebody to make some because there's so many co See if I made the right one. Yeah, okay, I got Maria. Hello, Maria. And anybody else here? Mm. Marissa, 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 Mar oh. the the lead mods. If you remember their names, we can't get oh, okay. everybody in. It's um, oh. Jane. He, here is ah, uh, I lost her. I see now what you mean. <laughs> I just saw Edge, and I thought I'll, Every time... I'll, I'll mute her, or I'll no, I'll, I'll point. Ah, uh, there's yeah. Rose. Let me get Rose in here. At least get the commands. Uh, uh, wow. That's why it's taking. Sanya, Sanya, wow. are you in twice? Sanya, is, did Sanya, did she, oh my gosh, Sanya got booted or what? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where is she? We Where need Sanya in his slides. I lost her. How did that happen? Oh my goodness. You can't lose your commands. No. <laughs> you never. can't do this. Um, so Christine, Christine has her hand up. A few people have their hands up. I, I was wondering how we can help them or support them. Um, they can't unmute their mics, it seems. No, that's okay, because we're not letting them. <sighs> yeah, it's just like they have their hands up. So maybe they no, can put something the in the chat. Mods. Yeah, could you raise your hand if you're a lead mod? I think everybody can hear us. Oh, um, okay. 
lead mods. Let's work with that first. So Christine, then... the other Christine, yeah. Um, lead mods. I, I think I went through the list. I didn't wow. see any lead mods. Mariana just raised her. Je, uh, Mariana je... has. Yeah, she's okay. in. Perfect. I mean, she, I put her in a while ago. Just like um, Jane, how come you didn't realize that you you had co mods and that you were in the class? You thought you were still in the waiting room. I wonder why. Okay, I think everybody's uh, got it, and we can uh, get started. No, uh, uh, no. There are a couple. There are a couple more. Um, yeah, there are. Ah, Larissa, Larissa. Okay, let me make Larissa co mod. There we go. Uh, oh, Zenji Wang. Yeah, she has her hand up. Session, um, Judy yeah. Wong, I can't. I wonder why. Yeah, yeah she was, I yeah. think sometimes people have their hands up just because they have a question or something, not necessarily uh, because they want to be identified as. Okay, the I made. But she so is a, a lead mod. Uh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Who? I mean, others. Yeah. Uh, Who is? I'm, I apologize if I pronounce the name wrong. Zhenye is probably. Not how you say it. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's right. And yeah. yeah, I did it. Okay. I'm yeah. glad. Oh, that's the LTA. What do you mean you did it? How did you yeah. do it? What did you do? Did you make somebody co host? Because that's what no, I, I, um, I, I pronounced her name right. I did point <laughs> out to her too. You mean so Mariana? I feel like a yeah. hero. Okay. Yeah, great. But where is, where is Edge? I saw Edge at one point and Edge? I was going to Edge. Yes, she's, uh, uh, I was her mentor. So she's what does uh, it mean when I say you, two people raise their hand, invite, invite them to what? Yeah, I invite, uh, uh huh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, invite to what? They're all in here. I, yeah. I disabled the waiting room. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So I think we're ready. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep if an somebody... eye on the chat in case somebody needs co mods. They yeah. Should, I mean, uh, co host. Okay. What do you think? Can we get started? Yeah. Natasha? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Mom. So anyway, um, so we start, right. Uh, oh, wait, okay. wait. No. Wait. Uh, the where, is, where is Tanya? The recording. I'm okay. here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, we, we and the here. slides wait. are here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Every, I mean, I see you now. It's, I feel safe because I see you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Nelly, the recording is on. We can start. Yes. Please mute your mics while uh, one person speaks. I think it helps. Okay. Well, um, this is a great honor for me. I get to um, uh, greet you on behalf of the whole coordinated, uh, team of coordinators, EVO coordinators. My name is Natasha bozic Groic. I will be uh, co-moderating this uh, with the other two leads. Uh, Nelly, you already know, she let you in. And um, the other one is Sanya Bojinovic. So we will be team teaching, yes. And, and Christine, of course, Christine Bauer Ramazani will be team teaching with us. So it's the, uh, it's the four of us, but uh, different people will be grabbing the mic. So yeah, as I said, I'm really excited. It's EVO 2022 and we have so many participants. So shall we, shall we move on, Sanya, to the next slide? Uh, so this is our coordination team. Uh, you can see our pictures and names um, in different places on our wiki. And uh, if you need anything, you can contact any of us. So. Um, there we are. Uh, okay. And this year's sessions. So I'm, I suppose I shouldn't be reading them all because I'm, I'm not into reading the slides. Uh, but uh, let's say there are so many that we had to split them into two slides. Some of them are old, some of them are new. Um, and we will be hearing from our um, um, yeah, uh, Sanya, uh, you're sharing the, uh, you're sharing the wiki now? I know, but I, I'm not sure what happened. Okay, whatever, 
Whatever happens, happens. This is online teaching, you know. It's yeah. It's I will messy. stop sharing and I'll st start sharing again. So I no guess problem. we will be back in our slides. Yeah. Now, um, Elvira, says she can't hear. So I'm not sure what the I problem is. You, oh well, you, you have to. Can someone text her and tell her to refresh or mm -hmm. come back? Leave and come back. Yeah, that usually I'm, helps. But she needs yeah. to um, to see that yeah. in the chat. And oh, we are back with the slides. Yeah. Uh, so there are 19 sessions, and we had to fit them into two slides. So these first two slides are uh, with with the links to the to the relevant sessions in the wiki. Uh, but I and they are in alphabetical order. But I suggest we maybe move uh, straight on to the next slide, the one with the logos. Um, so the 11 recurring sessions, we, we are very proud to say that some of these sessions have been with us for a very long, long time, such as Minecraft, for example, um, flipped learning also. Um, okay, t teaching young learners, among many others. So there uh, are for 11. teachers, by Moodle the way. for teachers. Thank ten you. Ten years. This is our wow. tenth year. So congrats. Um, we're probably yeah. the oldest at this time. Oh wow! Congratulations. Yes, it, it's a great course. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, it's a great session. Uh, I recommend it to to everyone. So, if you want to learn how to use Moodle, there, uh, there it is. Okay. So shall we move on to the new sessions? Sanya. So here are the, the eight new sessions. We have a great uh, array of topics. Some of them are um, um, computer. Um, um, I mean, some of, some of them are distant, uh, distance learning related. Some of them are not. So there is something for everybody. Um, OK. So um, in the next. Um, segment of our presentation. Uh, we will be introducing um, uh, these sessions one by one, uh, or rather uh, the moderators, the lead mods, will be introducing their own sessions. But here is the catch. You only have two minutes, right? Two minutes to, yes, Sanya is nodding. So you only have two minutes to um, uh, introduce your session if people want uh, to find out more, they will need to join your session. So this is just like a teaser. So shall we move on? We are moving on to, the, our, mm -hmm. to our first session. And if the moderators of this first session are in uh, our webinar, please unmute yourself and tell us more about your session in two minutes. And if you can't unmute yourself, I think it's a good idea to uh, maybe raise your hand. I am well, searching ask in for the Maha. Chat. Mm -hmm. I don't see Maha here right now. I see another Maha, but not mm -hmm. um, Maha Hassan. So we'll wait. Maybe she'll join us later on. Yes. If she mm -hmm. joins us later, maybe we can go back to this yeah, slide. Yeah, but I think and... we should. I promised James that we would start with James's sessions. And okay. um, he's in Japan. So can we go okay. through the sessions until... Uh, we um, get, yeah. It's a new session. It okay, starts with. Let um, me I forget what it starts with. Find um, it. James, maybe you can help us out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. There it is. I there know is. which yeah. session that is. Okay, mm -hmm. James. With a nice logo. Yeah. Thanks. I designed it. <laughs> All right. Do you want to start the timer or should I just start? No, nope, we're going to start the timer. Oh, okay, um, sorry. Sanya? Okay, hello, everyone. Uh, in this session, uh, participants will consider their ludic, their language, and their pedagogical literacies, uh, which means uh, the games and play, uh, how to teach languages, and, of course, the different ways that we do that with pedagogy. Uh, the moderators, including myself, we will show you um, how we have talked with games and playful activities, um, providing lots of frameworks, worksheets, and other materials uh, to help you uh, design your own uh, lesson plans uh, for your own context using games 
and play. Uh, we don't use a learning management system. We're using a tool called uh, Discord as our kind of platform to chat with each other. Um, so the first week will be a lot of onboarding um, of using these tools. Um, some tools you'll be familiar with like Google Slides and Google Documents. Um, but yeah, Discord is, is the platform that may, maybe is difficult for people to understand. So yeah. Sorry, could you mute your mic please if you're not speaking? Sorry, James. We it's okay, no problem. I'm seconds. basically finished anyway. But uh, yeah, so basically if you're interested in learning games and play in your teaching context, uh, you, you've got some experts here from me, uh, Rose, uh, uh, River and Jonathan, as well as Catherine. Um, we'll, we'll show you how we've taught with games and hopefully uh, you'll, you'll pick up something new for your toolbox. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, James. <clears throat> okay. And let's stop time and get back to where we were. Thank you, James. Is yes. Mahat maybe here now? Can you check? Uh, yeah, let's. By the way. I'll let you know when Maha gets here, OK? Um, I'll um, not the Maha we are looking for. There's another one. OK. okay. So <clears throat> we are moving to classroom-based research for professional development. I think Mariana is unmuted. Hello. No, Hello, she, Mariana. She has comments, right? So she can mm -hmm. speak. Okay. Um, well, uh, thank you, um, uh, coordinate, uh, coordination team, for inviting us to participate uh, this year, too. Uh, my name is Mariana Serra. I'm Argentinian, and I will be uh, co moderating. Uh, classroom-based research for professional development, uh, together with Ruben Massey, who is also Argentinian. And we will be supported by a wonderful group of international moderators and uh, special speakers. Uh, well, um, this workshop is participant-centered, and uh, we will um, be uh, interacting with uh, our participants on our Canva platform. And also, on Saturdays, we will be having online meetings. There will be uh, also a special online meeting on February the 6th, uh, called Mentees and Mentors Voices. Yes, um, uh, this uh, will be special. Why? Because um, people from mentoring teacher research, that is Dr. Richard Smith and Dr. Sedento Young and Ellie Becks, uh, will be joining us and all their participants. That is to say, researchers to be teacher researchers to be and mentors to be will be interacting together. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in exploratory action research, join us. Thank you very much for this opportunity. That's all for me now. Thank, Thank you, you, Mariana. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And our, new, our next session is Delivering best practices in distance and blended learning. So, our Christine. Yeah. <laughs> Christine. Yes. yes. Greetings from our DBP team or Delivering Best Practices in Distance and Blended Courses. Um, I'm Christine Bawa Ramazani, and I'm joined here by uh, Christine Sabie, Larissa Olisova, Sue Annan, Rose Bard and Jack Watson. We're all looking forward to a lot of partici active participation in our session, and we promise to respond to every post in our forums. Um, our DBP session uses Canvas Free for Teachers as the learning management system, and you will find the registration enrollment information at the link in the title of the slide here. Uh, or also in the title of the uh, course in PB Works. The session is structured by weekly modules and each week's work is a prerequisite 
for the next one. So you do want to get started. We have one overarching uh, session project that needs to be completed uh, in the session. It's a Canvas course site with one module and one lesson. And uh, both of them need to show us best practices in distance uh, or blended uh, teaching. Um, <clears throat> we also have uh, several discussion forums uh, in each module. And the most important link is through tasks and assignments in each weekly module. At the end, uh, we promise to uh, deliver certificates to those that have completed uh, the criteria, which is uh, discussion forum participation and the course module and one lesson. And um, <clears throat> we, discuss and we model best practices in our session. We also have live weekly meetings on Sunday, but not uh, today. So the first one will be next Sunday. So um, we welcome anyone that would like to join our session. Thank you. Thank you. It sounds Thank very you. interesting. Thank mm. you, Christine. And designing materials for business English teaching. Sue? Well, we decided that it was a necessary evil. <laughs> we have to make our own material as we're going online. And we decided to put together a team that can look at different types of material and how to do it without plagiarizing anybody else or getting into trouble with <clears throat> the wrong copyrights. So we'll be looking at text. We'll be looking at um, infographics and working with people who have alternative ways of learning. And we'll be looking a little bit at games at the end, but not the kind of games that James and his team are looking at. We'll be looking at taking material from our learners and turning that into some kind of game form just to keep them motivated. So we'd be happy to have anybody who wants to join us and we're ready to get started. It sounds perfect, Sue. Wow, wow, yeah, sounds great, absolutely great. Thank you. Nelly, developing learning habits. All right, so thank you. Thank you, Sonia and Natasha and everyone who's here today. Um, I don't know why my video is not showing, but that's okay. Uh, developing learning habits was Shusita's idea. Uh, as you can see, we are three moderators. Uh, she came up with the idea. I came up with um, everything else. I turned it into a so-called course. It is a course. It's on a Moodle platform. Uh, it is not time-based. And I want to stress that because people are asking, are these time-based because they're called sessions? Evo sessions have an LMS, most of them at least. Uh, you heard from James, but it's also a kind of work at your own time. You need to uh, follow the uh, activities and tasks for week one, complete them as quickly as you can so you can move on to week two. But if you're fast and you can do the whole thing in a week, <laughs> that's up to you. There are live sessions uh, once a week and they're on the same date, they're on Zoom. You can find all the information if you follow the link and many have joined already. There's lots of reading and uh, activities that uh, follow the reading. I think you'll find it quite interesting and it's great because we're all learning together about developing learning habits and life is full of learning journeys. And that's what it's about. In the classroom, out of the classroom for everyone of all ages. So looking forward to seeing you there. Okay. Thank you, Nelly. Eva Minecraft MOOC, I guess Vance is presenting. Well, I've been trying to raise um, uh, Jane. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi. Just, yes. Hi. Oh, so, okay. So you're ready. Why don't I go for a minute and you can pitch in. 
Sound good? Do you want to talk? Sure, you sure. Start? You could go ahead because you're the lead mod. <laughs> okay. uh, Sanya, lead is mod the timer starts. not working? Sorry. No, it's not oh, working. Good. It stopped working um, when I tried to move. <laughs> okay, backwards. no problem. So you're timing it, of course. Okay, I've got uh, the Great. Okay, so old technology. All right, so we're EVO Minecraft MOOC. We've been doing this since 2015. So uh, do the math, this is about seventh or eighth session. And uh, what we do is, well, we, we've, we've tried various approaches. Uh, it's very hard to do any kind of tutorial work and there are lots of tutorials anyway on uh, YouTube and uh, in the Minecraft Wiki. So you can pretty much do just in time learning and uh, Google anything you need, find it on, on YouTube. So for tutorials, uh, we sort of leave it to people to get themselves up to speed. We try to help them to do that. What we need to do is get people in the game. We all enjoy playing it very much. Some people are very hesitant to do that, but there's really not much we can do unless we get you in the sandbox. We can't really stand in the kindergarten window looking out and explaining what people are doing out there. You have to jump in. So if you're willing to do that, it's a very small group. We're a, we're a MOOC, a minuscule open online course. And uh, it's, a very, it's a great opportunity for people to, um, because we're such, such a small group, to get personalized assistance with what we're doing. And also, one more thing, we're also putting on uh, a, a conference, a one-day conference in Minecraft, uh, February 8th, I believe. And you're welcome to participate in that, whether or not you're in, well, actually, you have to register for the session in order to participate in it. If you want to be in Minecraft, if you want to come, to come in Minecraft, you can just watch the stream if you want. That will be streamed, recorded in the stream. And uh, okay, so Jane, what did I leave out? Yes, um, thanks Vance for your leadership in, in our team. And um, we would also be uh, doing, if you're interested in Minecraft research, Minecraft or for teaching English um, this year, we we would like to focus on um, content-based or theme-based uh, Minecraft lessons. And also Heiko would be helping us with the, um, we'd like, we would like, uh, we, we really liked her um, um, open sim comics. Um, so we're trying to this year, if we could do a um, um, comics, um, Minecraft, um, creating uh, Minecraft English mater uh, comics material, teaching materials for, for kids. Um, that would also be our um, focus. Um, and research-based, um, we'd also look at uh, kids playing Minecraft um, and their vocabulary, um, vocabulary, um, how, how uh, the, the vocabulary involved in, when they are playing in, in game. And so uh, we're just a a group of people who are interested in Minecraft. And if you're interested in Minecraft, uh, teach, teaching English in Minecraft, theme-based or content-based or just regular uh, task-based um, English lessons, please do join us. And uh, we'd like to get into teaching and researching. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and just you. a Thank shout you. out to Maha Abdul Mumin, who we call uh, Olive Tree. She has just said hi to everybody in the chat. She is one of our uh, assistant helpers from uh, Egypt and Dakota Redstone is another people who uh, they don't want to be moderators, but they just really like helping with the course and, and contributing quite a lot to uh, helping other people uh, get accustomed to Minecraft. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And flipped learning is on. Who do we have with us to present flipped learning? Carolina or Marta or maybe, uh -huh. who just said me for flipped? Uh, somebody said, just a second. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, Mike, let me just try to uh, to find Mike, Mike because I think he's not, he's still muted. Okay, unmute Mike. Uh, I think I can't. I, uh, I think I, I can just my co-host, so he can do everything. Okay, there you go. To unmute, yes, I've asked for him to be unmuted, unmute, oh, and okay. that, yeah. There Wait, you can are. you hear me? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I've just been asked from the team to um, introduce the flip learning for language in language teaching. 
Um, it's been going on for quite a few years. Um, uh, flip learning for us is, um, you know, we call it the grand meta strategy where we try to take everything out of our uh, um, uh, direct instruction and uh, make our uh, classes, whether they're face-to-face, -face, hybrid or completely online, um, make it as uh, interactive, as active and as collaborative as possible. So um, we have a, a fantastic moderating team. I've been with them for the past three years. Um, I've learned so much. I, I started off as a um, um, uh, as a participant, and then went on and, and been helping now co-moderating for the last two. Um, I totally recommend the course for people that have been using Flip Learning or um, who are just starting out new this year. Um, we will be going into Softler, Lane Marshall Softler approach. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and giving a lot more emphasis on in-class FIP from uh, Martha Ramirez and Carolina Rodrigo Butrago. Uh, so it'll be really super exciting and super interesting. And I hope to meet a lot more passionate educators from around the world. I've already enrolled. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great course. I've already done it. So Great, great. <laughs> yeah. Totally new, totally different this year. So you'll enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Grandma for tea, Saul. Nagla. Nagla. Yes. Hi. Mm. There you are. So, <laughs> thank you. So, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Nagla, Nagla Salem, speaking to you from uh, Toronto, Canada. Uh, this is the third year we're offering Grammar for TESOL. Uh, this year, we're offering it on Canvas as a platform. Um, on my moderating team, I have Masahito Watanabe from Japan, uh, who's a grammar expert and uh, who has translated several grammar books to Japanese. Um, in this session, we um, invite participants to reflect, a lot of reflecting, on their grammar instructional practices and what theoretical considerations inform these practices. Um, after we after the first two weeks, we move on, three weeks actually, we move on from uh, establishing important pedagogical knowledge to getting to work on some practical applications related um, to uh, lesson planning, error correction, provision of feedback. We use interactive content and uh, meaningfully integrated online tools, which hopefully will make the learning experience uh, enjoyable and, and informative. Um, every week, there will be a few tasks that our participants are encouraged to complete. One of these tasks will be required for them to get a weekly badge. And then after getting uh, all five weekly badges, they get a, an EVO uh, certificate of uh, completion of participation. And of course, in addition, hopefully, to the learning experience that we hope uh, can be as relevant and as transferable as possible uh, to their teaching context. We offer um, choices in uh, grammar-related topics and, and, and context, as I said, to make it as relevant as possible. Um, we, have, we will have uh, lively meetings on Sundays, 8 a.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Times, but uh, more details will, will follow. Um, but thank you very much on behalf of myself and uh, Wata, I'd like to welcome all the Grammar for TESO participants, those who've already signed up and those who are considering. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank Nagla. You, Nagla. And our next session is Immersive Building in Virtual Worlds and... Helen is here. Sorry, Helena. Sure. Helena. And, okay. and Dennis. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, if, uh, would you like me to start now? I'm going to set my yes, alarm, mm -hmm. my timer. <laughs> thank Hello. you. And please do because mine doesn't thank work. You. Okay, great, that's okay, no problem. Thank you for coming everyone and thanks. It's a great honor again to be amongst this marvelous team. You are all so inspiring. And I'd like to uh, speak on behalf of all my co-moderators. This year, we are going to focus on immersive building. So you're welcome <laughs> if you're interested in building in virtual worlds and virtual reality. Our uh, sessions are... Uh, um, especially useful to language educators, to whoever is involved in language course design and web heads. Um, those without experience are also welcome to enter and navigate virtual worlds. 
Uh, this year, uh, as an extension from last year's immersive storytelling, um, we are going to focus and navigate in different virtual worlds and virtual reality platforms such as Second Life, Open Simulator, Minecraft, VR Chat, Alt uh, Space VR. Um, so you're most welcome to come. Don't feel you are uh, put off by not having had any experience. It's a very useful uh, approach to teaching. You can motivate the unmotivated, really. And um, we will be focusing on um, building, creating your avatar, using scripts. I'm going to teach everyone in week two how to build objects, how to add texture, sounds, media. Um, you can find a lot of details about our um, syllabus and our enrollment instructions on the link on the PB Works wiki I will be providing with in the chat in a minute, less than a minute. And um, our starting point is going to be the Canvas uh, platform that we will be using. So please join. We're starting on Thursday, coming Thursday the 13th at 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, and the sessions will be taking place every Thursday and Saturday at the same time. Um, let me type in the link again. Okay, please do. And thank you, Helena. You're most welcome. We're expecting you. Thanks a lot, everyone. Language assessment literacy for practitioners is our new session. Eje, you are here. She's been here. Yeah, and she's unmuted now. Okay. I can help. Under mm. e. It goes by alphabetical order. Yes. It makes it easy. Okay, let me make her co-mod. Okay, there, I did it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Hello, everyone. Do you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. Great. And uh, thank you very much for the uh, EVO um, organizers. And hello, everyone um, in the chat. We uh, designed and uh, we've been working on this uh, EVO together with Asla Salam. And um, starting from the beginning, um, our idea was to bring together the practitioners who are interested in language assessment. And um, we wanted to discover what they already know about assessment literacy, what they have to share with us, with everyone, and then um, um, what they also want to learn, what they need to learn. So combining all these uh, with the needs of the practitioners, uh, we also invited some guest speakers, weekly guest speakers, um, who are already um, doing academic work in several different universities from different parts of the world. Uh, they will be together. Uh, um, yeah. We will um, our, our, our basic uh, platform about the content. Um, uh, we encourage lots of discussion there, lots of peer um, interaction um, and uh, participation. We also have a Facebook group. We, um, I um, invite everyone who is interested in language assessment literacy on that group too, uh, so that they can um, follow what is going on basically uh, throughout the five weeks. We're very excited and we participate, uh, we um, encourage for the participation for everyone who is interested in uh, language assessments and to share their experience with us too. Soon uh, on the chat, I will be sharing the link to our um, group too. Um, so that um, I think that's all. I hope to see you there. Thank you very much for the organization. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. And the next session, uh, Language Teacher Agency in the classroom. Are the moderators Jenny here? was here, Jenny mm -hmm. was here, mm -hmm. and I even managed to unmute her, but something happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello everyone, can uh, you hear me? Hi. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we can Thank hear you, you great. 
Okay, thank you for the EPO uh, 2022 organizers and particularly my mentors who helped us a lot in this um, process. Uh, my name is Zhen Jiawen and uh, I'm the lead um, moderator. Um, I also have two other uh, co-moderators, Grace and Jing Yi. Um, our session is on language teacher agency in the classrooms. Um, and in this session, uh, in the next five weeks, we will invite all our participants to engage in conscious and active reflection upon their own teaching and through this language teacher agency um, lens. Uh, we will um, engage our participants in exploring different factors, uh, influencing their achievement of agency in their classroom and also explore different ways um, uh, to implement uh, language teacher agency in their classroom. So we, our class is on Canvas and uh, each week we have a few tasks. Um, basically, we have uh, a short reading te uh, text, um, a discussion post uh, for each week. And um, we also have a live session on uh, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Uh, we welcome everyone basically who's in English language education and uh, um, please uh, join us if you are interested and uh, um, interested in knowing more about uh, language teacher agency. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've heard uh. from Ludic Language Pedagogy team and now we have uh, the session called Mentoring Teacher Research. I don't Richard. see Richard. He's, I don't mm -hmm. think he's here unless I missed mm -hmm. him. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't see Sedan either. So uh, let's go on and maybe they'll be back. Okay. And oh. here we are, mindfulness. Nelly, will you tell us more yeah, about that's it? Me. Okay. So. Oh, my video is not working. It seems to be turned on. All right. Um, we can see you, Nelly. Don't oh, worry. You can? Oh, so yes, I can see you. Oh, so mm -hmm. obviously you've been seeing me. All right. Mm -hmm. Hope I haven't been making faces. I thought it was off. No, no, no. <laughs> Right, so mindfulness <laughs> awareness um, is something that I've been involved in for, I guess, over 30 years. I practice formal mindfulness awareness. What's um, interesting is the more I learn, <laughs> the more there is to learn. Uh, you'll be learning about um, mindfulness research-based uh, learning. Uh, you learn what the research has to say about mindfulness. What people don't seem to know, there are a lot of misconceptions, is that mindfulness can happen with your eyes open anywhere while you're doing mundane activities such as washing the dishes. It's a way to strengthen and sharpen your brain. Uh, think about it. We use our brains all the time. Uh, we think of ourselves as being, you know, beyond uh, the animal kingdom in many ways, because we can think. But the way we think can be more effective. We can actually uh, upstart uh, our minds, sharpen them by learning to focus, which is so important in our daily lives to avoid accidents by going on to automatic pilot. The way we do it is by learning to be in one place in the present. So if we're doing the dishes, we focus on the dishes. If our thoughts run away with us, and they always do, which is completely normal, the way we sharpen our brain, our thoughts, is by bringing us back to the dishes, back to actually doing the dishes. It's that easy. When you're walking, focus on the walking. When you're talking, focus on the talking. When your mind wanders off, bring it back to whatever activity you're doing, gardening, reading, your mind goes off, bring it back to the reading. So this practice of bringing your um, focus back to whatever you're doing is how we sharpen our thinking. That's what it's about. You'll be learning how to do that in mindfulness awareness practice so that you can become your best version whatever that is. 
Okay, thank you, Nelly. I've thank just you, joined Nelly. this year and I hope to see a lot more of you joining us. You will see me. I've, I've joined as a participant. So, so don't be <laughs> afraid. To... Don't be afraid. It has nothing to do with, um, you know, anything strenuous or sitting down and meditating. It's a lot easier. So Moodle for Teachers is where uh, these Evo sessions are. Mindfulness is also on a Moodle platform. And um, this is a chance for you to learn to Moodle. This is our 10th year. I can't believe the time has passed so quickly. Uh, these are the moderators. The moderators are generally uh, ex-participants, those who've taken Moodle for Teachers and uh, are able to moderate and want to moderate, devote their time. It's um, a little bit different this year. So if you've joined the Moodle for Teachers um, session in the past, this one is different. And the reason it's different is because you will learn how to create your own course on Moodle. You will learn how to manage a whole Moodle site and add courses, add participants. In other words, you're not just going to be a teacher, you'll have a chance to be a manager of a whole Moodle site, as well as the administrator of a Moodle site. Looking forward to seeing everyone. We have live meetings, but you don't have to take and join the live meetings. Everything is available in each of the weeks for you to do the tasks and upskill your Moodle skills if you've Moodled before and if you're new to start from scratch. So this is for anyone who wants to use Moodle, whether in their schools or on their own. And you can also make money by uh, charging people for the courses. That's on the side. If you're interested <laughs> in that too, thanks. Thank you, Nelly. <laughs> Oh, here's another one. All right, so uh -huh. Sudarshana is here, and Susita and Ajita, my uh, co-moderators. Uh, we've been, this is our second year, so Sudarshana, Sushita, and Ajita, you're welcome to add your input. This is also on a Moodle site. So uh, grab the mics, I've given you all. Yes, madam. Hi there, Sudarshana. Yes, uh Yes, yes uh, I'm Sudarshana and uh, this is our sex, uh, second experience for uh, technology for spoken English uh, and we are uh, Dr. Neli, Sudarshana, myself, uh, Suchita and Ajita, our team and uh, we are providing this session on Moodle and uh, we are uh, introducing various technology tools and apps for English teachers. Uh, which will be uh, useful for teachers to improve their uh, students' spoken English. And uh, last year, we have a very nice experience. Uh, we have a good uh, number of participants. And more uh, uh, interesting thing is a uh, lot of teachers were from Maharashtra and they had implemented all their learning in their schools. And they have nice results from their learners also. So, uh, I'm very happy and uh, uh, very uh, excited this year too. And uh, looking forward for more learning. Thank you very much to Dr. Nelly and all EVO team. Thank you. Uh, each Thank you. section is given by uh, one lead moderator. So we've got Sudarshana, Sushita, and Ajita giving their uh, weekly session. It's again, it's about Moodle, the LMS and working. Um, on the tasks. It's not time-based except for the fact that you should finish the tasks by the end of each week. But if you want to go ahead or if you're a bit slow, that's fine. Uh, Jita, if you'd like to speak or uh, Sushita, you're welcome to grab the mic. All right, I see there's a bit of silence there. Um, I think that if Rosini is here, she took it last year and she was really, really happy with, uh, <laughs> with the tools that we use. If you're interested in improving your student's spoken English, and I think everyone is, this is the session for you. Okay, thank you. Our next session is teaching EFL to young learners. Again, uh, teaching EFL to young learners is on a Moodle platform. 
there are live sessions every Saturday. We had our first yesterday. Not everybody knows about it, but you will see um, video uh, introducing each section for each week. Um, Cheryl McCoy, I don't know if she's here. Nevis Teresi, I'm not sure if she's here, but Judy is here. Uh, Nevis is giving um, week three, Cheryl week two, I'm doing week one and five. Judy Wong is doing week four. We've been doing this, this is our sixth year. So yeah, <laughs> time flies here as well. Judy, mm -hmm. uh, I think you've got moderator commods, right? Yeah. So you can yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I'd session. come in from, I thought I'd your come section. in from, I thought I'd come in from the Quidditch fields just so that you guys know that we're gonna get to play. So definitely come into our group because we, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna play with games, we're gonna play with toys and things and and when you get to me at the last uh towards the end of the of the run on the fourth week we are going to get to play on zoom i'm going to teach you how to use all those silly little zoom things so that we could play with our students in reading and improvisation so definitely definitely come it'll be hands-on we'll have a good time um and i expect to see all of you there playing thank with you judy thank you <laughs> Our next session is Tool for Student Collaboration. I think Maria is here and Pika is here, if I'm not mistaken, and I've given them co-mods. Tools for Student Collaboration, this is um, its second year, but actually Tools for Student Collaboration has been going on for a while. It's on a Moodle platform, again, that's the LMS. We have meetings once a week, but again, you don't have to join those, the tasks are Moodle based. In other words, they're all on Moodle. That's where you'll be doing it. We'll be working in teams. It's very important since we'll be modeling exactly what we want our students to do. Uh, if Maria or Deepika who've taken um, tools for student moderation, collaboration, sorry, before um, will be able to share their experiences. Uh, we focus on, there are lots of tools out there on free tools for student collaboration, Google Docs. Oh, that's my Siri talking to me. I don't know why Siri woke up. Well, I hope you we didn't can't hear, hear Siri her. there. Oh, don't good. worry. That's good because she's uh, <laughs> trying to say some things to me. She seems to think that I contacted her. In any case, um, the topics are text, how to connect with text using Google Drive, and audio and video, Google Slides, audio and video, and other tools that we connect to Google Slides, uh, Padlet, and curation walls, lots of curation walls, as well as video recording tools to uh, engage learners in uh, debates and nice. other activities. Teachers will learn uh, how to create collaboratively, how to create lesson plans, and also courses, syllabus for their uh, mm -hmm. collaborative work. It's not only students, it's also teachers working with teachers and teaming up so that everyone can collaborate with everyone. It's for young learners and adult learners, not just for um, specific age groups. And I think that's it. Thank you, Nelly. Video-based mobile learning. Yeah, this is a new Evo session, even though it's not a new <laughs> session I've given it, or a new course I've given it in the past. Uh, it's based on using videos. Our students are hungry for teachers to use mobile devices and to allow them to use their phones. I've been using um, mobile learning and videos with my students, my young learners, but also with my adult learners for a number of years. Cynthia has taken this um, course, it used to be a course, and Sudarshan, I think Deepika has as well, and now they're co-moderating uh, this Evo session. We go through each week of um, different um, video-based uh, mobile learning apps. We use um, 
video recorders, screen recorders that can be used both on the desktop, but also on the mobile device, as well as curation walls that can be used both um, on the desktop as well as on mobile devices. We use uh, Quizlet, Kahoot, and Voki, among other tools. Uh, you'll have to join to experience it because it is an amazing experience. You'll also learn how to create and use um, live virtual classes on the mobile, not just the desktop, but the mobile so that you can experience using mobile devices for everything as a teacher and help your students with theirs. And that's it. Great. And now I think Christine should tell us something about this slide and this amazing opportunity. So yes, thank yeah. you, Natasha. I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, EVO or the Electronic Village Online, or some people call it EVO, um, either way, um, it is a part of TESOL, the big international TESOL organization. And uh, it was founded in 2000 as a project by the call interest section, which is an interest section of TESOL. So that's uh, TESOL is our umbrella organization. And so uh, for the last few years, and again this year, they have given us the opportunity uh, to have the 19 EVO sessions present a summary of the session at the International TESOL Convention and this year, um, as you see in the logo at the top, or the banner rather, uh, it is going to be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from March 22nd to the 25th. It will be in a hybrid format. And, and this is really important for all EVO moderators of sessions and participants. It will be free to EVO moderators and participants. Uh, so we're hoping that all 19 sessions present a summary at the TESOL convention. Um, and as we get a little closer, I will provide more information on this. I have already submitted the abstracts of the sessions to TESOL to the call, through the call interest section. And then uh, in the near future, I will be contacting the lead moderators of the EVO sessions for dates and times uh, that they would like to present a about 10 minute summary of their session. And these summaries can be in two formats, either live or synchronous. Uh, and that makes it a little bit difficult because of the time zones, but um, we worked it out last year, 13 sessions presented live. And then the other format is pre-recorded video on Flipgrid. And last year we had seven of uh, the pre-recorded sessions. So if you, uh, if we share the slideshow um, of the kickoff here, then the links to examples from last year um, are going to be available. Uh, so I hope that you, the moderators in particular, participate in this opportunity and participants in the sessions as well. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. And that's it. So, um. Natasha, um, yes. I just, I just so have, I think it's time to uh, uh -huh. stop the screen sharing so we can get a photo uh, of all not, 100. Uh, okay, <laughs> Nelly, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> not I just not have, a, I have a quick suggestion. Um, there were so a few people. Stop? Are, sorry. Ah, you want to yeah. go back? Is that what you want Yeah, do? keep, keep uh, if it's possible to keep screen sure. sharing. Um, I was wondering because uh, a lot of people, quite a few people have asked about uh, enrolling instructions and so on, where to find it. So I was wondering if uh, mm -hmm. Sanya or Natasha could just uh, uh, go to the PB um, 
uh, call for participation, the PB Wiki, and then just give an example of one of the sessions, how to uh, find, like where to find the join instructions and, and so on, just like a quick demo for uh, participants. Is that possible? Yep. Um, let I me put just the see. link in the chat, just in case. Uh, don't yeah, but uh, what Nagala is suggesting is an excellent idea. Let me see if I can. My computer is uh, suffering from some kind of, um, well, I don't know, uh, disease. It needs it needs uh, um, a bit of care. It's very slow. Revamp. So could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. Anyone, so anyway, can... Nagla, would you like to do it yourself since yeah, yeah, sure, you volunteered? Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. You can grab just... the, uh, the okay, share yeah. screen at the bottom and yeah, do that I'll for do us. That. Okay. It's a great a idea, second. by the way, just to okay. demonstrate because I've seen these uh, questions coming and it can be very confusing. Okay, so this is the uh, call for participation, right? Okay. So whatever... Um, session you're interested in you have the list here so for example if you're interested in uh, let's say flipped learning right so you click there and then um, it's going to take you to the link to the session all the details the abstract and so on but then you will find that there is a join the session sort of box or a highlighted section here that gives you instructions as to how you can join all right, so, so this back. is where you find it. Can you go yeah. back? Yeah, go back. To okay. the main, yeah. Yeah. For some reasons, it's too large. Mm. Uh, what's too large? No, uh, they whatever they wrote was too large on the wiki. Oh. It came out. Okay. Overlap. Um, I can try another one. So delivering best practices here, right? Mm -hmm. So you scroll down. And yeah, this, this is better. where you find here, join the session. You have very clear um, instructions, okay? You have two uh, ways to join, right? So right before the moderator's table here, you will find join the session instructions. Um, just to go answer back. those who one are asking. More. Yeah, back. sure, let's do that. Let's yeah. do another one. So again, another you one. go through each of these uh, sessions, you click yeah. on the, uh, the link that's available. Yeah. Okay, another one here. <laughs> and it's very, very important to point out that uh, each session has had an opportunity to choose its own uh, learner, learning management system. So exactly. most of them are either on Canvas or on Moodle. Or on Moodle. But exactly. there, is, there is one on uh, Discord. What's it's on Discord? Discord. Yeah, Discord. Now I joined it. And, and Minecraft. Discord. I'm not sure. I think Minecraft, yeah. if you want to try it out. Yeah, sure. Let's see let's where Minecraft that. is. Yeah. Here. And then you can show a Moodle one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The important one part is to click on the title uh, in order to get this page. So yeah. if you could go back one more. Uh, Sure. Yes. Okay, so, so first let's start. So here, this is the call for participation, uh -huh. right? You click there, you find the list, you choose, let's uh, do Moodle for teachers, right? So, and then you find it again here. The link. Right? And then you click on the and title. And then That's you click it. on the title and then you That's scroll the down mm -hmm. to join the session. Yes. And, and it's Nelly important has also provided a video there. Yeah, when, mm -hmm. when you click on the title, it's very important to read carefully to find mm -hmm. the part where, where it says join, yeah. join mm -hmm. the instructions and follow because each session might have a bit different instructions. Yeah. And don't worry about days or times because that's not what it's about. It's not about whether you can join a live session or not. Okay, that shouldn't stop you from joining an Evo session because you can't make it because it's after midnight or something. Okay, that's okay. the recordings will always be available yeah. for the live session. Okay, can I stop the sharing now? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then maybe we'll get a photo. Jane is our photographer, right? <laughs> <laughs> also, I just wanted to interject uh, for any of you newbies who are joining us for the first time, try not to uh, sign up for more than two or so of the sessions your first time around because you might find it a little bit overwhelming to try mm -hmm. and get through mm -hmm. so many at some time. I've I mean, opened up all the videos. Much as we would love videos. to be on all of them, but... Yeah. Right. Hi, Jack. Sure. Uh, open up your videos. Um, you know, we want our students to open up the videos, right? So this is our chance not to be shy. 
And, uh, you know, in some schools around the world, they require this. I don't know if in your country they require your students to open up their videos to prove that they're really there and not to be doing anything, you know, not to use their keyboards to go somewhere else. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> That's what... Well, so, when you teach adults, they usually turn their videos off. So no, no, no. But you like... ask them when, yeah, yeah, exactly. So keep your yeah. videos on, and and you know, you're not doing mm. anything with your. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> there you are, James. Is I can see you, James. <laughs> ask me <that>, James. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So join um, teaching. EFLT Young Learners and Judy, if you want to know, you know, what to do on Zoom to get some ideas on how to get your students, um, you know, perked up on Zoom with their cameras on. Yeah, yeah you, you'll definitely learn how to keep them from uh, sneaking, falling off asleep, and, or you and playing keyboard. with their phones. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, it would be it would be lovely if you made uh, those videos available to those of us who are not attending your session. Oh, they'll because... be available. <laughs> they will yeah. be available. Because I don't teach young learners, but I would love to learn this. Um, oh, you know, yeah. It be... works. It works with any kind of age, actually. <laughs> Peter, you're in the dark there. Um, I just noticed that Peter is there. So, Jane, what do you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> You're the photographer. Vance is busy there playing with his phone. Oh, Jane, you're the photographer, yeah. Jane. Are you, are you still there? Yeah. Uh, Jane is muted. Jane, you're oh, muted. Oh, okay. Yeah. But her lips are moving. We can yes. read lips. Oh, so. no. I was laughing at Vance. Vance was playing with some <laughs> spattery or something. He's playing with his phone because he's, he's a wise guy. You know those wise I guys, didn't, students. I didn't... I don't okay, get so them. how are we? How are we going to get um, the? F there are two. There are two pages, from what I can see. Can you, Jane? Can you go to both pages so we can take a photo of one and then of the other? I don't know how that's possible. With do I need to turn my light on in order to turn out? Uh, you're, you're you can see black and white yeah, unless I'm right. colorblind. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Cheese. And then the second page. Yeah. Wait. Uh, oh, there's seven different. pages. Oh, I thought there were only wow. two. I only see two. I only Perhaps see we need one out of two. How's that? I only see two, Jane. We I got see four, seven. actually. Seven. Wait there's, a minute. I got four. I'm, the one. I'm and... the one who should do this, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Since uh, I see only two pages and I keep free. Smile, everybody. We don't know who's on the page. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. So we have to keep oh, smiling. Anyways, you know, it's always oh smile. <laughs> that, was that a joke? Okay. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't work out the first time. Let me try again. I don't know if I smile there. Okay, there we go. That's one. Let me go on to the next page. I'm using Snagit. Mm. Even though Mac. I'm on a Mac and I could be using the Mac one. Thank okay. you all so much. This is a great start. And thanks so much, Christine, for putting this together and the fifth, the um, the 19 <laughs> sessions um, abst abstracts to that's going to go into yeah. people's program. So are, is everybody, did everybody open their, did 149 people who are still here open their videos? Is that possible? I don't think so, right? Oh, it's midnight. No, midnight. It's midnight. not everybody, but that's okay. It's midnight for Larissa. I wonder what immersive means. Choose immersive view. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. There's something new on Zoom, immersive view. No idea. How, how okay. do they fit like 100 people in one page? I don't understand like that either. I don't think that's possible. But there's something called immersive. I don't know what that does. Automatic immersive. And then you can get people sitting in different ways. Oh my gosh. I guess that's James is falling cool. asleep. All right. So, yeah. Okay, Immers everybody. Good immersive. Night. And I Good think morning. water too. Uh, <laughs> immersive, immersive is when you have time. a 
Immersive, you could put a special background. Yeah, I know. It's more than that. And then you could put everybody. So it it looks like you're sitting in a classroom and then everybody. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cute. It's for the classroom. Kind of fun. Not for us. (laughs) Yeah. It's almost like being in Second Life. (laughs) Yes. Yes. We should explore that sometimes. All right. So um, enjoy, everyone. It's about um, learning together. And that's what we're doing. Right, Vance? learning yeah. together. Yeah.